doing some talking. It's all the thing. It's all the rage of this thing now, talking. It's mental. It's gone viral, talking. Thanks for letting me know. And my entire face blew off because of the pressurised... Who the fuck thought that was going to go mental? ...container it was stored with it. The world is very loud. Please help me pay rent! Oh my goodness, what's he talking about now? Hello, everyone. Hope you're all good. Doing a bit of a uh, sporadic, um, impulsive kind of episode today. Um, so, I've been trying to gather my thoughts, and I haven't got a script written for this one, I haven't got any notes. Um, but there's quite a lot going on um, in my world at the moment. Be it the podcast, be it editor's schedules, be it availability to record, be it, you know, getting guests on, be it the content changing a little bit because I've seen how well the Angry Bootneck and Van Man Talks UK election debate has gone. It's done probably like 500% better than some of my other podcasts that I've done recently. Um, you can look at that on the channel as well, you know. Um, my Spotify for podcasters login seems to have completely yeeted itself out of existence, so I need to fix that. Um... So yeah, I'm going to look at doing some more like roundtable discussions going forwards, but that means I've got to schedule like three guests in rather than just one guest, and that's when things start getting really chaotic. But as well as that, there's been some outside sort of external factors that have been going on where this sounds really mental, and I'm going to get onto that in a minute, but I've just been to a supermarket to buy some shopping, and half of Weymouth roads have closed today because there's some sort of thing going on on the seafront. So... Like, Weymouth has been always very, very terrible when it comes to traffic management and flow. Um, to the point where, like, one or two roads close in Weymouth and the whole day is just completely fucked. And it's quite frustrating when you just want to get to the shops and you just want to buy some stuff and go home. Do you know what I mean? But um, I've had a think about this whilst driving around. And I'm, I'm actually kind of calling myself out in this sort of rambles thing that I'm doing. And it's basically stop worrying about things that you can't control <laughs> i know I've, I've harped on about this for the last six months but it's like ben there's other roads there's other routes you can take there's other things you can do like you don't have to react negatively to a slight detour do you know what i mean i live in the uk i've got money i earn money I can fill my car up whenever I want. I'm not rich, don't get me wrong. But if people want to check the Patreon out. Um, I really don't need to worry and I don't need to be as critical on myself and others and people around me. And I don't know, just all a bit stupid sometimes. Like it's so easy to slip into a negative headspace, isn't it? And it's just... Just breathe a bit and just sort of write a list that list might have five or six things on it just do two or three of them providing it's not you know my house is currently on fire like there was something that happened to me yesterday i forgot what it was but it took priority over everything else i think i <laughs> i think i was choking on some food because i was trying to eat it so quickly and it's just like enjoy the moment and enjoy what you're currently doing and stop worrying about the future and I really need to like check myself on this sort of stuff now and then because it it's very very easy like I just said to to let one negative thought steamroll into 12 overthinking is something that I'm really bad at constantly wondering what's next and it's like mate your fucking supermarket is open 24 hours a day. You know, you're not struggling as much as other people in the world right now. You know, there's wars going on. There's lots of conflict around everything and lots of tension building up. And, you know, you go to a place like China, you see it on YouTube at least. And, you know, it's a very regulated society and everything's centrally managed and centrally governed and... I haven't got that. I can turn this camera on and record whatever I want whenever I want and 
there's a sort of liberty to that that I think a lot of people take for granted and that a lot of people just kind of forget that that's the case, you know? So yeah, watch this if you're feeling overwhelmed and try not to let too many people kind of dictate what your day looks like as well. I know if you're married and you've got kids and all that sort of stuff, just try your absolute best, but not to the point where it's stressful. Just try and take like one or two hours out of your day and just think and just sort of read or play a video game or do something that's a bit sort of aimless and pointless and some people might not see it as a very good use of your time, but fuck them. Do you know what I mean? But yeah, um, I find that when I talk to my camera and I talk like this, it really, really genuinely calms me down. So I don't know if everyone on YouTube wants to start journaling to a camera, but I think this is exactly what I would do if I was to put pen on paper and get all my thoughts out of my head. But I'm just doing it in a more sort of interactive way. Um, but yeah, that's it from me. So I'm glad that I did that. I feel a lot better now. I feel a lot lighter. It's weird, isn't it, how talking can just change everything. Um, if there's any people that you want me to get on for roundtable YouTube discussions or roundtable musicians, uh, podcasters, creative people, streamers, Twitch people, blah, 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 please tag them below. Even if I've never, ever heard of them before and I've never even, like, you know, acknowledged their existence before. I really think I'm onto something with this and I, I really need some help because um, I get a lot of outside not interference, a, a lot of outside suggestions that I should get, like footballers and sports personalities and God knows what else, adult film stars and all that sort of stuff on the podcast, but help me. I'm asking for help. Not in a, like, I'm not fucking doing it unless someone helps me, but this is a whole new pond for me to fish in, so... I need someone to kind of come at me fully loaded with an email address to someone or an agent to someone or because otherwise it's just, oh, Ben, you should do this. Okay. okay. <laughs> you should get this video game developer on. Okay. Who is it? Oh, I don't know. But they made Bioshock and it's just like, what's that? Like, sometimes you got to kindly reject those people for your own sanity, you know? But yeah, hope you're all good, and uh, thanks for watching and listening as always, and check out the channel, you know, there's tons and tons of videos on it now. And yeah, hope you're all having a fantastic Sunday, and uh, see you soon. In the meantime, go energy. Watermelon one is so nice. See you in a bit.